Hey there, thanks for stopping by the channel. I wanted to talk for just a minute about the successor to the Korg Kronos. I had hoped that there would be a traditional successor, like a brand new workstation. The Nautilus AT has been announced over the last week or so, and if you've followed Korg at all, you'll know that the Nautilus actually came out uh, when the Kronos was still in production and still considered their workstation their flagship workstation. The Nautilus was a stripped down version, uh, a great keyboard in its own right, from what I understand and from the reviews that I've seen. I've never actually been able to play one, but it appeared that Korg was positioning the, the Nautilus as a, as a, again, a step down from the Kronos. So when the Kronos was discontinued, which I believe was in the US last year sometime, I, I could be mistaken on that, but I think it's closing in on a year now since that that took place. The Nautilus was the top of the line at that point left standing after the Kronos was discontinued. And so there have been a lot of people, there's been a lot of talk about whether the Nautilus was the new Kronos or whether there would be something new coming. And I think we've all sort of thought there would be something new coming. The Nautilus had several controls removed that the Kronos had. Uh, the touchscreen smaller, there's no aftertouch. There's there's just a few, uh, I wouldn't call them shortcuts, but just things that Korg did in order to be able to cut cost and make that mid-range keyboard. With the, uh, the Nautilus AT being introduced, I went on Korg's website because uh, interestingly in the US, I think Kraft Music is the only online retailer so far that I've actually seen the AT listed for sale. Um, uh, pre-order I should say. I started thinking well maybe this is um, something for like the UK or Europe or somewhere first and then it'll roll out to the US. But I went on Korg's US website yesterday evening and did indeed verify that the Nautilus AT has been announced but there was some language on the on the announcement page that I thought was a little bit interesting um, and it was the fact that I mean, the, the opening sentence says, Nautilus is Korg's flagship workstation. So I guess if there was any question about a new Kronos coming out or a new flagship coming out, this doesn't necessarily answer that. I would assume one's still coming at some point, but it does say it is the flagship workstation and it does say the next sentence says, the successor to the wildly popular Kronos. The range now includes two AT models. So if it is a flagship, it's interesting to me that, or I'm sorry, if it's the true uh, successor to the Kronos, it's interesting to me that you can only get a 61 and an 88 key version of the Nautilus AT. I don't know if that just means the 73 is not selling well in the regular Nautilus range, so they decided not to go this route, or if this is literally just a, uh, a transition step to go from, to go from the Nautilus to whatever the new Kronos is going to be at some point. Um, but I did think that was interesting that Korg is actually calling it their flagship workstation. So for this particular moment, uh, any speculation that may be remaining out there, I think is over. Um, this is Korg, Korg's flagship workstation and it says the successor to the wildly popular Kronos. So and this directly from Corey, and I'm not sure how else to interpret that, but I thought it was interesting and I thought it was worth sharing. Um, what do you think about the Nautilus AT being Korg's flagship workstation? Are you, are you happy with that? Does that make sense to you? Does it seem reasonable? Uh, I mean, I think the price is right around $2,000, which is a lot of money for a keyboard, um, but it's not historically in the same range as what their flagship workstation would be. So it is an interesting uh, development. I wouldn't call it a development, but it's, it's interesting language on their website. So anyway, that's the thoughts I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Is there a new one on the way? Is this one something that you're considering picking up in the future? So thanks for stopping by. We'll see you in the next video.